All right, guys, Rival Watch Part 3. Goodell is taking the stage to announce the 49ers pick at 48. Uh, draft so far today has been all right. We did see a run of offensive tackles. Uh, some people think the Niners are going to get JOK here, which would be a big steal. Uh, that would definitely, I would have to acknowledge that one. Okay, here we go. Aaron Banks. Woo. Aaron Banks, guard out of Notre Dame. Okay, I actually did scout this guy a little bit a couple months ago because there was a time when it looked like the Seahawks would need a guard. Um, that seems like a little bit of a reach. I didn't think Aaron Banks was a second round kind of guy. I thought he was more of a third round kind of guy, but I do think he's good. I will say that I think he's good and, you know, small reaches like that aren't going to matter as much if the player works out. So, I don't understand why some of these offensive linemen are falling, though. Dylan Raduns is still there. Samuel Cosme is still there. Uh, uh, the the uh, Mayfield is still there. And they're taking Aaron Banks. Um, I'm going to call this one a W. I'm going to call this one a W because he wasn't a player I had any interest in. I don't think he was a player we were targeting. And there were some players that I'm thinking about targeting that really could have gone to the Niners here. So, okay, we've got back-to-back -back rival watch picks. Arizona Cardinals pick is in. Hopefully it gets announced in the next couple minutes here. I'll just go ahead and do a dual rival watch video. Hopefully they don't take half an hour to announce this. But uh, that I did not see coming. I did not see that coming. So... 49ers get a guard who I think could have been there in round three, but sometimes with that stuff, you don't know. Sometimes late in the, uh, once you get to the second round, a certain team is going to be interested in a particular player much earlier than expected. And you got to just take him while he's there, because if he gets down a couple more spots, he's gone. All right. So I think the chat was pretty happy about that one. We obviously don't care for the 49ers around here. So I think chat was pretty happy with that. Uh, Cardinals are up. Terrence Marshall Jr. is still on the board. Cardinals could take him. They could take offensive line because they didn't in the first round. Uh, they could do a lot of different things here, honestly. They could take Melifonwu. Uh, the Reno, I think we got a good chance at it. I think we got a good chance at keeping our 56th pick. All right, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to keep the recording going for the reaction to the Cardinals pick. It should be coming up any second now, but... uh. I think that the Niners, I don't know about that pick. As a fan of a rival team, I'm pretty happy they didn't get JOK. But I will say that Aaron Banks looks like he's going to be a pretty good NFL guard. Okay, here we go. Cardinals pick is coming up. Double rival watch. And I have no idea what this Cardinals team is going to do. No idea. Rondell Moore, Rondell Moore, wide receiver from Purdue. Some Seahawks fans really liked Rondell Moore. Uh, I was not a big fan of his. He's got some real problems in his ledger, but there's no denying his dynamic talent. And what is going on with Terrence Marshall Jr.? I got to ask, like, why is that dude still falling? What is going on there? Um, if Rondell Moore can stay healthy stay on the field, and um, uh, find his way in the NFL. That's that's a dangerous player, man. That is a very intriguing offense that they have down in Arizona. That the, What they're building in Arizona right now could be special, but uh, this strikes me as kind of a risk because he's played like seven games in the last two years. He's small. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. They're stacking up on small players in that offense, aren't they? Except for D-Hop. All right, guys, that is your Rival Watch reaction. Uh, Aaron Banks, guard from the 49ers. I'm going to say relative to what I think they could have gotten there, that's a W. And Rondell Moore, that seems about right.
that seems pretty reasonable to me. I don't I don't know what's going on with Terrence Marshall, but uh, that seems like a pretty decent pick to me. All right, we're picking soon, so see you guys in a few minutes. Go Hawks.